All right, we are still continuing our discussions and we'll be talking about the impact of Rotary Club, of course, in so social development as well as it concerns Nigeria. From a healthcare to human capital development, Rotary International has been there to support. So we're going to learn their work, their impact, and of course, the roles that they are playing in helping to improve social development. And we have an important guest in the studio to have this discussion with us. He's Rotarian, I beg your pardon, Rotarian Mazi Oha Chikujeku. He is the Assistant District Rotaract Representative Zone 10, Enugu States. Rotarian Rotaractor, forgive me. <laughs> <coughs> so please introduce yourself correctly okay. and we take it from there. Okay, my name is Rotaractor Mazi Oha Chikujeku. Okay, Rotaractor. Yes. You're not a Rotarian yet. No. Okay, okay. B before you even go. Please just give us a difference. the difference. You are not a Rotarian, but a Rotaractor. Okay, uh, uh, Rotarians, of course, are people who are, are, are part of the Rotary family. Rotaractor are, let's say, the youth mm -hmm. arm of, of Rotary. Okay, okay. so it's basically an age team, an age uh, factor, yeah, kind of. Something okay. like that. Okay. <laughs> okay, so you have Rotarians, you have Rotaractors, yeah. and then in secondary schools and primary schools, you don't have any. any yeah, we we'll have. In secondary schools, we have interactors. Interactors, yeah. beautiful. Then in primary schools, we have area early act. Early act. Yes. And these arms are all active. Yeah, of course. Do women get to have their own, you know, uh, name? Uh, no, in Rotary, there is no. There's no, there's no gender. gender. Beautiful, it's just yeah. beautiful. Amazing. All right, take us through briefly an overview of the evolution of Rotary slash Rotaract. How did it find its way into Nigeria, and how has it evolved over? You know the years okay um i'd say that rotary has been part of what i uh, trying to um, find ways to develop our societies mm -hmm. um i'd, I'd focus my conversation on uh rotaract um, of course okay, yes. that's fine. so that's fine. um for in rotaract in nigeria i've been able to uh work with uh the uh different institutions uh, developing young persons through service to humanity, um, different uh, fellowship programs to train and nurture and culture these young persons to be better members of society. Yeah. Okay, so can we be more specific? Uh, I don't know if you're, you've been a president of a Rotaract Club or you have worked in certain capacities where you rolled out some activities or mm. functions what exactly are those activities okay. in what area healthcare human capital development and mm. what is the scope in terms of geographical location okay um current enugu as a state is mm. under district now for two Mm -hmm. That is road track district mm -hmm. now one for so that is it covers seven states the five south state then acquire one and cross river state mm -hmm. so um pa every month every we have what we call seven areas of focus and every month every rotary or rotary club are meant to carry out projects according to those seven areas of focus it's a mandate so it's, it's those are your core values yeah. so okay. yeah of course so every month we have uh, uh, this month is our eco uh, community and economic development. So different clubs. We have Rotary Club of Ikulu, Rotary Club of Nuevon, Rotary Club of Jerry, different and Rotary clubs in Enugu. Okay. Yeah, okay. and each of these clubs either come together or individually as clubs, they carry out projects that pertains to the development of uh, uh, economic development of the community some clubs they empower uh, artisans some clubs you know try to encourage businesses to grow more and you know give them the platform to thrive mm. um so like i said every month uh, we we'll have we we'll have our maternal and child care month that is um, august mm. where different clubs carry out different programs specific to the health of the of the mother and child okay so maternal and child, maternal yeah. and child. Care month we we'll have our peace and conflict month we we'll have uh, education and literacy which was last okay. month okay. different clubs in any group if you notice they carried out different educational projects mm -hmm. some did spelling bees get scholarships 
you know projects that pertains are specific that to the uh, economic and uh, sorry that uh, specific to basic education and literacy so that is how we have every month clubs carry out projects according to the uh, areas of focus and areas of service all right so how do you get young people to be involved in what you do okay um i joined retract as a student in essence right and i would say that the way i joined i saw the service they were rendering i saw the impact they were making i saw these young persons the way they carry themselves you know uh, then most of our most of retract members were lost then. and you know you're seeing these guys yes. dressed in their white and black uh, shorts and they are picking waste around the school mm -hmm. they are trying to help out they are seeking out ways to better the society and you could see that this they make a whole lot of difference so that's that's what attracted me you know so what brings a lot of people a lot of young persons into your chat is what we do the service to humanity and the personal development that comes with it. Mm. Yeah. All right, talking about community development mm. and what rats mandate of bringing young people mm. into the service of humanity. There's this uh, uh, guiding principle mm. of root rat mm. and rotary, the four way test. Yeah. Tell us about the four way test and how impactful is it, or is just something that you mime every time you come together, or it's something deeper than that. Tell us about four Yeah, of tests. course. It's it's something that it's something deeper than that. Uh, our four way test is like the guiding is like the strong arm of rotary, and is it's not just um, it shouldn't just be practiced within rotarians or rotaractors. It's something that if everyone should imbibe, uh, should practice. Mm. So the four way test, the first is is it the truth? So it, it only means that whatever I'm doing as a person, whatever you are doing in your business. Sorry to take you back. I'm so yeah. sorry. Because when I read it, they said four way test of the of things. Of the things you think, say, or do. The things you think, say, say or, or do. do. Yes. Yeah. Please go ahead. So is it the truth? So before I widely in business with you, in my profession as a medical doctor, as a lawyer, whatever it is you do, as an artisan, as a businessman, watch that thing you're about to do you think say or do is it the truth mm. so it all relates to to the way you 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 treat your fellow human your fellow human beings and the second one is it fair to all concern so in that place where you are when you have figured out that you are sure that this thing this action this thing you're about to say that it is fair to, uh, that is it, it is the truth now is it fair to all concern Will it, will it, is it something that when you do it, you know that it, 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 it involves everyone else and doesn't count some persons out of the equation? Will it benefit everyone that is concerned, mm -hmm. right? Is it something that when you do it, uh, let's take uh, what's happening in our country and the political setting, will what you're about to do, that policy, that decision is it something that is going to benefit everyone all stakeholders every everyone that is involved in it so yeah. I, i'd like to ask every club every organization has always had something called a challenge in mm -hmm. you know, either implementing their their policies or anything what has been your major challenges um uh, i would say uh the challenge has always been able to work with um, some agencies to carry out what we do. Um, you know, most of the times, probably you want to do a project and you're going to a, com a, con a community. community. How accessible is it to what you want to do? Also, you know, because of course, we're in Nigeria and the economy, you know, sometimes it's the it's trying to be able to fund all these projects we are doing yeah. um so basically there is no a whole lot of challenges because rotary is not like every other um 
club. Uh, it, it, you know, it's not an NGO. It's not a human. You know, I was going to ask you. Yeah, it's but it's an NGO. NGO. Is it a club or an it's, NGO? So it's not an NGO. Why is Rotary, it not an NGO? Because Rotary. they do a lot of NGO, NGO grass activities. Yeah, yes. grassroots work. Mm. So why is it not an NGO? So Rotary is a service organization. NGOs are also service organizations. Yeah, actually. you know, but most of them, you know, they can do a campaign or something. So why Rotary? Uh, so as Rotarians, as retractors, yes, we bring ourselves not we don't just bring our money and you know we fund stuff. Mm -hmm. So as in in a Rotary club, you know, it's a, a coming together of people in different professions, in different careers aspects, to bring service to humanity. Now everybody in that club serves humanity with your career as a medical doctor we are going on on a medical outreach you already know you're part of this thing you know you are rendering that service so we don't just bring people we do it ourselves if uh, uh if i'm an expert in environment i already know that in the month of uh, anything that concerns environment i bring myself mm. you know to be part of the service so we you know we bring our all so it's not just a humanitarian organization where people just bring money fund stuff and mm. they go we also do capacity building we have different we have a uh, rotary peace fellowship where people get trained to be better peace ambassadors in our society you know so we have different programs to groom people so we don't just render service to humanity we also train ourselves to also be better part of the society mm. you know so because when you just help 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 around mm. but and you know you are not part of what tries to make those changes become sustainable yeah, yeah. okay so uh, you've mentioned a lot of lofty activities and mm. projects programs that rotary and rotract you know take part in mm. and i know one one particular thing that is important in being able to drive your agenda especially when it comes to philanthropy and mm. humanitarian services is stakeholder engagement mm. now you can't say you're going into a community without engaging the stakeholders mm. in the community of course there's the government the traditional rulers the religious groups the uh, youth groups and things like that. so how does rotract engage stakeholders so that they can have easy access to you know push the agenda in a particular um environment or system okay um i would say um when before any club carries out any project we, we first of all go to those communities so we don't just carry out projects because we think this community they will need water and mm -hmm. we we'll go there and give mm -hmm. them water mm -hmm. we go so when it's our water and sanitation month you go to that community find out what exactly they need like they need assessment they can yeah so they can have a string that needs to be cleared and probably they don't know how or have the resources to get that stream cleared that might be their most important need but you might think oh if you go and dig a bubble for them, you they, solved they your problem, yes. you, know, you might you must have done you have actually done good but you've not solved a need so you, when during that uh, need assessment period is when we get to engage with the stakeholders of those communities this also helps to make projects sustainable mm -hmm. because when you are done with that project those communities are able to own that project right. and help sustain it because now they were part of the process yeah i was i, I wanted to ask about that sustainability because mm -hmm. when you're true with the community do you do like a, a checkup a like um what was it called now when you go back to revisit yeah, yes okay yeah, you, you there, there are teams that to check on projects that have been carried out we have different uh, uh, public to uh, toilets around the city that we have in some markets that were built by different rotary clubs you know they get to go back to check and that is why like you said engaging the stakeholders so they also help because now they were part of the process that brought that project it wasn't like we just came and mm. dropped this and left they were part of it so you, you find out that most of the times you might not really need to go there you could communicate with them probably now do a quarterly checkup on the project to ensure that things are still the way you left them all right so uh if i should ask you a direct question and say has rotary and rotract 
sorry I'm using different agenda here. I think they are mm -hmm. working for the same purpose. Yeah, of course. So if I, if I ask you, has Rotary or Rotary paid you? I'm, I'm, I'm guessing 100% you say yes. Now somebody is listening, or would you say no? And someone is listening to you and saying, what's in it for me? Should I join Rotary? Aside the fact, yeah, we do some philanthropy. What's in it for me, really? What would you say to that person? Um, I would tell you that as a young person, Rotrat is, is the best place for you to develop yourself both in capacity and career because um, as a growing person in root in Rotrat you get to be mentored by the best in your field because you get to meet Rotarians who are experts in what they do who have gone way beyond you people who naturally for you to be able to get them to sit with you in a room it's it would cost mm. you time and a lot of money but you get to just meet them casually and in a rotary and retract setting whenever we are having a function and rotarians and retractors and in a room there there is nothing like you're a rotarian you're a retractor everybody just is a boy yeah, by yeah. Safe. so you get to meet them you get to network you get to interact with them and they always open are they fellowships or training here you know, oh yeah um every club training has programs for your members yeah of course of course can you mention uh, one um we have our uh, district conference we have uh peace fellowship trainings every club also has fellowships every month and clubs are always encouraged to find ways to because people coming out bringing their money because rotary we it's it's a deal paying organization mm. so people come and they gain value for their time and their money and themselves that they are bringing to the table so yeah we have different settings we organize um uh, uh seminars where young persons are trained and mentored by Rotarians who are experts in different fields so uh, how do i join if let's assume somebody wants to join right now so what's the process like uh, it's it's quite easy you you could you could browse my rotary.com or rotary.com you could browse clubs or there are different clubs in inugu we have the rotary club of a clue they meet at uh, at ESBS, uh, STC at ESBS. We have the Rotary Club of Enuguja, uh, Rotary Club of Enuguja, we have the Rotary Club of New Heaven, we have the Rotary Club of uh, Municipal, we have the Rotary Club of um, uh, uh, that, that is a Rotary Club. We have okay. the Rotary Club of IMT, the Rotary okay. Club of ESUT, of UNEC, of ESUCOM. So, we are encouraged to join a club that is close to your close community. Yeah. So you, it it it's becomes easy. easier for you to attend fellowships and connect. Tell us about your fellowships. Uh, it's, uh, so what's, what what does what are, what are the activities that actually make up a fellowship? And it's quite interesting that you call it a fellowship. Yes. Yeah. Uh, then you come for our fellowships, mm. and I hear you guys sing a lot in your fellowships. Yeah, of so course. Please tell us. Uh, <laughs> So each uh, each Rotary Club fellowship is quite unique because we could have we could have a a, a tea fellowship we could have a dinner fellowship we could have a fellowship discussing a particular topic that is why Rotary uh, is a very interesting club we could have a fellowship talking about mental health talking about different aspect of life we can have a fruit fellowship it's there is it's not always it's not same. like yeah we always have variety something to yeah, we have keep people yeah to keep people yeah. coming to yeah. also give value for your time mm. yeah okay. so yeah that is basically what makes up okay. a fellowship okay. yeah. can you sing one of your rotary <laughs> 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 can you i'm serious uh, oh, sing uh, one of your track songs uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, uh, the song I love so much is uh, there's this song called My Grandfather's Clock. Mm -hmm. My grandfather's clock was so large for the shop, so he stood 90 years on the floor. Mm -hmm. 
it was all about than the old man himself. Though it weighed not a penny, wait more, wait more. It was born on the morn, on the day that he was born. And was always his treasure and pride. But he stopped short, never to go again when the old man. So, what are you not telling me? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, now tell me what are you not telling me? It's a nursery rhyme. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> it is. It's a nursery rhyme. All right, just try to. Yes, no, no, no. I, I'm good. I'm yeah, good. Okay. But I know that I would, I would love to join. Yes, I, I've, been yeah, I've been inspired. I've been inspired. I've been inspired. All right, beautiful. So thank you so much for, thank you for having me. Um, coming. I love the shirt. Do we get yes. one each? Or uh, so you know, these uh, promote <laughs> these uh, day before yesterday was uh, the International Polio Day. You know, okay, Rotary okay. has Rotary been... Rotary is big on polio, yeah. on polio eradication. Yeah, we started uh, polio eradication, eradication since uh, 1985. So polio has already been eradicated in Nigeria. Okay. In, uh, yeah, Nigeria is now yeah. polio free. Yeah, polio -free. yeah polio -free. but we, have, uh, we still have uh, Afghanistan and Pakistan. That There is just... So how, how, how was the program? Yeah, it, it went really well. It went really well. We have a time we marched with, um, around the city mm. wearing a... Uh, Mm. and for food. afghanistan and pakistan yeah trying to yeah love so in rotary you know there's nothing like where you're coming from mm. funds a lot of uh, rotarians and uh, retractors in inugu are donating towards eradicating polio even outside the and country you know uh, one thing is is not enough to say nigeria is polio free it's also keeping it at zero keeping it mm. at zero yeah because if va vaccination does not continue mm. then mm. definitely we are sick we are going to bounce back to sure. where we have a uh, lot of polio Polyos cases so years. it is to encourage people to get vaccinated okay. because polio is it as of as of now doesn't have any cure but is so preventable right. by just a simple right. so i've got to ask someone who is 50 and listening to you and wants to join the road track to retreat thing mm. and the person probably didn't join as an interactor they couldn't join probably can't join mm. rather as as a rotoraptor yeah. can the person go straight to join yeah, of course material? there is no there is there is no uh, process yeah. you, you must get, start yeah. from yeah. one two three okay. a lot of a lot of people didn't actually follow the process i didn't join as an interactor i joined okay. as a rotoraptor uh, yo so there are different rotary clubs Rotary Club of Ikulu, Independence Layout, Enugu GRA, Enugu City Center, Enugu City Layout. There are a lot of Rotary Clubs you could so join. So at, at what point are you supposed to join Rot Rotary? Because uh, you're, you're, you're a Rotary actor. At what yeah. point would you say, ah, I'm grown now, I can now join Rotary? Uh, well, for me personally, I would say um, as soon as possible, I should join Rotary. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you very much for your time. This was a really an interesting conversation. Absolutely. And I'm sure a lot of people have been inspired as well to want to you know, join this course and help the community as much as they can. So thank you very much for thank you. coming. Thank, thank you. you very much. Yes.